this imported model to this file where I imported them. I'm just going to click on this model and I'm going to click on manage links. So once I click on manage link, good everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to link to Revit files. So this can be helpful if you are, let's say, doing an estate and you want to make replicas of the same building in different locations. So this will make the work lighter and it will not necessarily stress you to start copying models within the same project. So if you haven't done so, make this the video you subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos because we do that on a weekly basis. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share with your friends. With that out of the way, we are going to join jump right into the main content of this video. Alright, so as you can see, we have a site plan here and I'm going to be linking some other project models into this site plan. The first thing to do is to just to go to a plan to get an appropriate view. Then the next thing, we are going to go under this insert tab here. Under this insert tab, we are going to see this link Revit tab and we are just going to click it. Now, we are just going to pick the model we want to link to this Revit file. In the case of this project, is this 4 bedroom terrace duplex. We are going to click on it and we are going to click OK. So, depending on how heavy the file is, it might might take some time so it's good to know that you might just give it a wait okay it has successfully linked with this new project so you can see this on the ground floor you can see the floor plans the doors the windows and all although they are not editable from this project that is the thing about linking files so if you go to this 3d view you can also see the building is already placed even in the 3d views so if you want to render this project it's very helpful when you link files especially when maybe you want to render an estate so we're going to go back to this ngl and we're just going to click on it and we could just move it by using this move tool picking a point and placing it on a reference point to get to the adequate position so we could also copy this by using just the normal copy tool click on copy click on a point and copy it from point to point Let's just say we are copying it at intervals and placing it on this site. Alright, so we could also mirror this project. We could also mirror these imported models to this wing. So we could just select this, select this, select this, go to this, find a good central point and just mirror it successful. It will take some time because it's heavy, but it didn't even take too much time. So if you go to 3D, let's go to 3D okay you could see the three models imported here okay so the next question now is if i want to make changes to this model how am i going to do it and update it it's very simple what you are going to do is you are not going to update it from this revit windows now you are going to right click on revit and you are going to click on revit 24 again to create a new revit windows so you, you are going to work on the file of the imported model separately all right so now we've opened the new revit windows we're just going to click on the model we imported and we're just going to open Open it in another separate Revit windows. All right, so as you can see, we have the main model here, and we want to just make some changes here. So let's just go back to the main, to the model where we imported them and just look at it. So you can see everything is aligning. This is identical to the main model. So what we're going to do is, if you go back to this main model, we're just going to rotate it this way. Then let's say we just delete this whole element here. Okay, so now I've done this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Ctrl S to make sure I save this project. It's very important, make sure you save it. So if I go back to this imported model, to this file where I imported them, I'm just going to click on this model and I'm going to click on manage links. So once I click on manage link, I'm going to see this option here and I'm just going to select this icon here or this tab here. Then I'm just going to click reload. Then I'm just going to click OK. So as you can see, you can see all the model copies here have updated and it's identical to the original model. So you can see this how to work with linking files in Revit. Let's say we go back to this file and we just hit Ctrl Z and we hit Ctrl S again to save it. Then we go back to this imported model and we do and we just repeat the same process. So let me just click on this, go to manage links, click on this tab here, click on reload. Then once it's done, I'm going to click OK. And you are going to see it's going to reload back. So this is how versatile this tool is and it can be helpful in your large scale project. Okay, before we close this video, you could also unload it. To do that, you just click on this uh, model. You just go to this manage link tabs. You click on this and you are just going to click on load. So once you click on load, the whole models will just disappear. So I'm just going to click OK. And the whole models have disappeared so if this video was helpful make sure you hit the like button subscribe to this channel for more content like this because we do this on a weekly basis hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos thank you and i'm going to see you in the next video